Hey everyone, today we have a cursing psalm. Do you indeed declare what is right, you gods? Do you judge people fairly? No, in your hearts you devise wrongs. Your hands deal out violence on earth. O oh God, break the teeth in their mouths. Tear out the fangs of the young lions, O Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs away. Like grass, let them be trodden down and wither. The righteous will rejoice when they see vengeance done. They will bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. People will say, surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges the earth. Merry Christmas, y'all. Uh, this is one of those reminders that we are not in the Christmas season. We're in the season of Advent, and the vibe is slightly different. And honestly, this isn't too far off from some of the things that John the Baptist says, who shows up a lot in Advent, or some of the prophets that are often read. You know, this is a season of waiting. And one of the things that I think a lot of us often feel like we're waiting for is for God to act and bring justice, to make things right. I mean, don't you lament the ways that the world has gone wrong? World leaders who murder their own people or, or start senseless wars? And so these kind of cursing psalms are for people in those situations, people who are being crushed by oppression. They, you know, may be a little inappropriate for people like us who are privileged. You're not being treaded on if others are asking for the same rights that you have. Now, I think we can probably admit that the violence in a psalm like this is a little surprising. You know, at least they're putting it in God's hands instead of doing it themselves, although they are uh, giving, they have lots of specific ideas about what God should do. But ultimately, this is a plea for violence to stop. As bad as break their teeth sounds, that's really saying, take away their power to do harm. So we believe in and wait for the Christ that we believe does that. He is not bloodthirsty, even in the face of injustice. But we trust he will judge and bring justice. So may we do his work as he would do it.